all right what's up traders so let's break this thing down and um do a tutorial on how to hook up the copier inside sierra charts for those of you that are doing the apex challenge um, or any other funded um, trading programs out there <clears throat> and uh so as you guys know um, there is a built-in copier from sierra charts and uh, they have um, several other ones out there like the Replicanto from uh, Flowbots or Rep Replicanta from Flowbots. Um, Apex has a version as well. Um, and then also Frederick on Simple Trading Systems um, has, a, has a pretty advanced one to where you can actually copy um, trades from account to account from inst inst new instances to new instances on Sierra charts. Um, and, but that's a whole nother, nother game there. But uh, for now, we're just gonna focus on the copier that's built into Sierra. So let me just clear the slate real quick here. Um, so we can just start from scratch. And I'm gonna keep the other one up. So essentially what you wanna do is you wanna get one of your charts. So I'm gonna assume that you guys have chart, uh, chart book already hooked up. So we just cut through the chase rather than having to uh, hook up um, another, ch uh, another chart here. So um, essentially what you wanna do is let's just go ahead and do a new chart book and this is where you're gonna copy over your uh, your charts um, so we'll start with um, one which is gonna be your parent account it's gonna be your transmitter so this is gonna be your main trading trading window um, and this can have all the indicators you want you could even do the uh, blueprint one but for, for me um, I work off the one minute um, it just helps me get a more precise entry um, it's really all about timing on this thing um, I don't like to do five point stop losses. Uh, I'd rather keep it within the uh, 10 ticks, two and a half points. Um, because if I'm, if I'm wrong on entry, I want to, I want to know that I'm, I'm wrong, you know, um, right away. I don't want to give it the, the room to uh, kind of take me out. You know, I mean, two contracts at five points, that's, that's instantly down 500 bucks if you're wrong. Um, rather than being down 225 bucks or something like that. Um, okay. You can, can kind of do the math, but um, and then, you know, I mean, it all really comes down to just the entry, you know, we're trying to, um, really get down to the risk part. And so, uh, timing the entries and kind of mitigating the risk. Um, if it works, it works right away. If it doesn't, then, you know, you're taking a minimal loss. So anyways, uh, moving on this one can, the, the parent account can have as many indicators you like. So what we'll do is we'll copy this thing over to, uh, the chart book, uh, the new chart book. Uh, just for the demo purposes here. Um, I have mine on the, the quick um, shortcut here list. So um, if you don't have that set, then you'll just go over here to charts and you'll duplicate chart to chart book. And uh, let's copy that over to the chart. And um, so let me do this. And um, here, let me move this window. Actually, I'll keep that there. So this one is going to be loaded with all your indicators. So uh, you got everything at a glance. Um, and so now for the receiving accounts, the child accounts um, doesn't need to have all of this, all of these things. It's just it just needs a very basic um, chart book here. So you'll copy it. Um, once again, go over to the uh, chart and just do duplicate but I have mine on the shortcut so I'll do that and for this one you don't need that much window you just need to see the the trades copy over and make sure that there isn't any um, any of your accounts that actually have orders resting or uh, flipped you flipped you or reversed your your position um, I have had situations like that where where it's where it has done that so um, it's definitely not perfect. I don't think anything is perfect. So you always have to be mindful about those things. Um, so this one you'll just uh, strip down. Uh, but for the sake of time, um, just go through, hide all your stuff. Um, or you just create another chart book, you know, whatever you prefer. So just to cut some time, it'll be this. And then um, what you'll do is that you'll go over here and you'll copy, uh, duplicate your charts, which will essentially end up looking like this. Um, don't mind the color change, uh, kind of did that over with the transferring of a new chart book, but, um, so essentially it'll look like this. Um, you have your mini, mini windows here. Um, 
and what you'll want to do here is that you'll go to um, let's make sure you have your sim accounts all hooked up so I'll go to trade and we'll go to general trade settings and this is where you'll hook up all the sim accounts that sh you can handle so I have 10 um, you can do as many as you like but I have 10 and uh, okay it. and um, this is where um, we will get into the settings so a very straightforward really simple um, you get into the menu and the first thing you want to do is you want to enable your order allocation trade account um, that's always set unable so uh, you want to enable it and then um, once you do that you want to get into the order allocation to trade accounts and here you don't have to have um, you don't have to have your parent transmitter account um, added to the allocation accounts um, that will aut automatically uh, just be in there so you'll start by adding sim 2 and you'll add and then so forth sim 3 add and you do that to all the accounts you just ah, let's just go through it Sim 3, Sim 4, um, add, Sim 5, add, Sim 6, and etc. And um, here, make sure you have order allocation to trade accounts enabled. Click yes. And to see all your account accounts that are allocated in the list, um, it'll be here. If you don't see any, um, just go back through the list and, uh, and add it. And then you'll OK it. And so now that is set. Um, the only thing that you have to do to these um, child accounts, the receivers, is click in that M. You'll go to settings. And then all you're going to do is click that enable, enable order allocation to trade accounts. And you do that to all of your windows or all of your accounts. And then um, you will um, set your SIMs. So SIM 1. So this will be your transmitter and then sim 2 sim 3 sim 4 sim 5 sim 6 and so forth and so just to make sure everything works um, uh, I'm assuming you already have all your uh, brackets already hooked up click use alley or use attached orders um, for your bracket system your your stop your profit targets and all that kind of stuff so um, so just to test it we'll go ahead and hit um, let's go ahead and short it so sh sell the bid. Um, so you can see our order is in. It's copied across the board. And that's what it should look like. And let's see. We'll move our uh, stop. And you can kind of see it goes right across all, all the charts. Yep. And uh, your targets as well. And make sure that you're adjusting. If you need to adjust anything on your... Um, on your order let's just say move your stop or whatever um, do it always through your uh, your parent transmitter account um, if you try to do it down here on the little baby accounts it doesn't work you see and then you'll just end up uh, kind of messing up their your risk your targets or whatever um, so always make sure you're using your parent account and essentially that's that is it um, exciting things to look forward to uh, to be able to leverage your um, your system here and we have an awesome system here at STN so um, a lot of great things to look forward to and uh, one main thing that I want to leave you guys with is that uh, you know I mean this this has the potential to change um, individually uh, all of your guys lives um, but you know granted that you have your all the you know criteria for um, a successful trader risk management being the most 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 important thing um i blew up many accounts uh trying to get this thing done you know trying to get this thing uh funded but um it's not for me personally it's not extracting the money out of the market it is um it is definitely on the risk side so being triggered um you know that is the the thing for me but individually for each one of you guys you, got, you guys know the areas that you that you need to work on to um, get that success that consistency so um, continue just to keep working working and uh, what I find you know the perspective that I look at is yeah we got a $50,000 account but um, look at it like you have a $2,500 account because you had that 2500 trailing thresh um, that you know that stop so um, don't look at it as a $50,000 account look at it as a $2,500 account and it should be perfectly fine and just manage your risk accordingly um, oh and then one thing too um, so to flatten it and you kind of see it goes right across the board everything is all flat
and um, always make sure that you know there is no pending orders there I've had some situations where my order um, has closed here and um, mostly on all the accounts but there is one that I don't know straggles or whatever um, as you can kind of see from that little delay here you kind of see how they're a little offset so if you're looking at how to move um, when things are happening really fast and I'm like oh shit let me uh, let me get this target out here and then I end up doing that um, puts me in and one of them is still live and you know the the, uh, the price action kind of turns it around the other way so you have to be really mindful and then look at your rhythmic dashboard to um, make sure that there isn't any uh, pending pending orders um, and that's basically it and then um, <clears throat> you'll, uh, you'll kind of build your you know, your chart book around the the new um, the new layout but for me I have all my you know all my child accounts just floating on another monitor um, and essentially I trade off of this here so I have all the goodies that I need and then um, on my side monitor I have all all of my accounts so um, first tutorial here so hopefully I um, I was able to you know be very clear about the setup if you guys have any other questions um, kind of confused in certain areas don't hesitate to uh, to drop a message on the uh, STN um, and uh, yeah, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Or we could even spend a, a personal Zoom session if you're still having troubles. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's get them. Peace.